I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Life is Strange. Uh, that was in context of me looking at the laptop, by the way. What's this file? Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. Damon I'm Merrick, okay. I'm glad I gave him the cash. Yeah, yeah, I'm also pretty glad about that. Um, <clears throat> don't know the date of birth, no age, no weight, no height, no eyes or hair. I mean, you can kind of look at it, but whatever. Point of interest is the mill, a converted lumber mill club north of town. Yeah, suspect of larceny, extortion, distribution, assault, robbery, and murder. He is connected to Francis Bowers. Yes, he is. Uh, to Rodney Thunder Sears. I can't remember. Rodney, oh yeah, Rod Rodney was the bouncer in the first episode. Then there's Sarah Gearhart, you know, the guy, or the, the girl that um, is the cheaty one. Peter Gillespie, I can't remember who Peter is. And then there's Sheldon Pike, the guy who tried, oh, Peter was Sheldon's friend, the one that tried to stab me. Interesting. Okay. Sup, um, well, first let's look at the newspaper. They say all news is local, but... Damn. Largest fire in Arcadia history frightens residents and baffles authorities. My bad. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Let's see. District Attorney Rachel the play gotta go. Let's talk about the play. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just reverse drag! The wizard part. Uh, I suppose that's also true. Okay, district attorney. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. Thanks. So, I can call you if I'm ever... District arrested? It's a joke. What would you so, be arrested for? It, it, it's a joke, sir. It was a joke. <laughs> Not a good one. Clearly. Ah, uh, then let's talk about Rachel. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. He's not a very fun guy. Duty calls. <laughs> Cause you know, good chat, he, Mr. He, Amber. he doesn't mm. grow on trees because he's not a fungus. <laughs> I'm bad at jokes, but we've noticed that by me playing as Chloe. Um, we can sit on the recliner. Don't care because you know. Uh, then I just have to sit and chill. And things. Let's open up this. Am I allowed to just open things Glasses. in another person's place? Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Did you not see their house? Can I do something here? Look, just look Never at the glasses. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. I suppose. It's, it's, uh, um, it can get very expensive to get very, very fancy drunk. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which That's isn't true. saying much, but still. I mean, they, he does make the district attorney money, so he, he, he does make quite a bit. What art? This looks like, hmm. A beer with the TARDIS, but the TARDIS has a king hat. It's a big beer then, or the TARDIS is very small. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. So rare, so rare. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Probably is, you know. Or, you know, they just bought it with cash. Whatever. They have buttloads of stuff. Let's have a looky see news article. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Graffiti time! Can't tag this. Whole Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Okay, then nearly graffiti time. We'll figure out how to graffiti later. Can I improve this? Yeah, she won't mind if I do the crossword. Literal illiterate. Let's go f uh, illiterate. Stop. 
solving it. Der, 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 Raven, der Mob, York, and then der, 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 der. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, um, let's see. Sink. I'm just gonna have a walk around. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Open. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Which is a form of skeletons. Oh, yeah, we got messages. Drew! Hey, Price, sorry about what I said earlier. You were only trying to help. No way, I'm sorry, Drew. I had no idea what to do. That was fucked. It's okay. Mike is alright. I'm alright. Also, he says thanks. Tell him I said, hey, we'll do. Oh, that's nice. We also got a message from Steph. Um. Where were we here? I heard you were in the Tempest. Yeah, I was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show was awesome. You get medals for two good deeds today. Mike is okay. Drew will text you an update in a bit. Oh, he just did. Uh, oh shit, tell them both I'm pulling for them. No, Making so many friends. It's great. Oh, okay, um... Anything else? Let's just quickly have a look, see around. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. That's very, very sad. Hi, Rose. How's it going? Speaky. Speak. There we go. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Let's see. Let's talk about, let's talk about the play. Yeah, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To really? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Oh. Shots yeah. fired, Shakespeare. You know, I suppose. Unfortunately, in that time, those were the only people that were kind of allowed to do anything, so... Don't really have different perspectives, but you know... History is history. Talk about so, Rachel. Uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very... Persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Uh, setting the table. Let's talk about Mr. Amber. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. He has none of those. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Married life, strong words. Um, how's married life treating uh, you? What's it like being married to the DA? Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. But with a lot more secrets, right? Secrets? Like attorney-client privilege and all that. Well... As district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. Isn't there a district attorney that actually defends the criminals? Or is that just a is that just a, like a different lawyer that you have? I'm the law is kind of uh, not above me, but it's, you know, I haven't really had a lot of experience with it, so I'm not really sure. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. I'd like to. I'd actually quite like to know you know it's interesting sitting at the table so you putting me to work or what yes if you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table uh, what if i can't excuse me it's a joke it, it, it's it's it, 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 it's a jug it, jug joke sorry i just saw milk on You're the right. day over there so it's a little of a jug of milk all right chloe you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before Piece of cake. I mean, it's still gonna be a little bit difficult, don't you think? Um, where were the plates? I forgot. Oh, it's in the corner there. Hmm. The more things you learn to like, the happier you will be. Suppose. Hello, plates. 
It's off to the table with you. I tried to think of a joke. Couldn't think of one. Like, it's completely nothing. Just my, my brain's going... Uh, let's place the plates. No placemats? Oh, you uncultured swine, Mom. Chloe, Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. Kind of just happened. Um, I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight coming home. Please, Chloe, I miss you. Um, bye, Mom! <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hi. Yes, Chloe? What next? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's a different type of as deer, I'm sorry. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. How about boring and stick up his butt? Something else? Drink! What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Good question. Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. I'm so funny. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides me, besides you. No, I'm not going to antagonize him yet. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. Not really, no. Me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. So are you? And you why is I said I didn't have different then? about your friendship? But perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh thanks. You're a bit of a twat, aren't you? I've got apparently some speech options. I'm assuming I can go speak to Rose then. Uh hi. Yes, Chloe? Sherry! The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? All the jokes. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? Do you, does it. this family not know how humor works, honestly? How can you have a life without humor? It's terribly boring. Hello. Uh, Which one's a sherry glass? Triangle one. There's a triangle Basic shape shapes. one? <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Is that triangle? Triangular? I s that just looks like a wine or champagne glass to me, but whatever. Setting! <laughs> Did I wipe that on my butt? Okay, I'm assuming we can go speak to her again. Oh, this is just a bunch of me running around, placing things. I swear this is an MMO. Yes, Chloe? More? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Bad choice of words. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and pass this joint up a bit. I suppose. Okay. Um, shiny. Why is it an honor of lighting the candles? That's very strange. The Amber family and fire. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? So very dark. Ah, oh, I didn't get a chance to um, graffiti. How would I graffiti then if she's there the whole time? 
Oh well, it's fine. I'm not like really interested in getting all the graffiti anyway. So, if you want to see so all of them, you can just go check them online. Rachel in any of the same classes? Uh, not anymore. I wish. Let's go with I wish, because you guys know I am suspended. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Mathematics. Vocabulary. Oh, okay. What about that fire? <laughs> That's a pretty good fire. <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. She says while spluttering. The way the fire spreads so fast... I've never heard of anything like it. It's scary, it's strange. Life is strange. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know anything about passion. Or you do. You're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Because anyone fire is pretty, and there are people that are pyromaniacs. Today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. That's nice. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Attack, James. No, no, we're going to calm Rachel. That's a better idea. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, I'm you really can good at words. Run away from whatever's bothering you, as long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse. However, I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Uh, I suppose. Baloney. I'm sorry? Rachel! <laughs> Explain distract. Um, distract! I am silly! Look at me! Uh, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. <laughs> I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is A that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Is she going to start shouting again? And then more fire? for one fucking minute can't you just be my dad Rachel 
That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? What? Okay, well, post it's post episode time now. I see. Let's see what what my actions have caused throughout this entire thing. I hope at least you know things turn out right. I hope my choices have come to the right conclusions. I try to be nice where I could and also make some right decisions. I'm really sorry for all the troubles, Frank. Um, I'm just still... Her being her mother doesn't really fix things, though. You guys cool? I think you guys are cool. Yeah, you guys seem to be cool, which is cool. <laughs> I know other words, I swear. Um, okay, so... Yeah, Drew is down. Great. I'm sorry for whoever Jackson is. Um, Nathan, you... Oh, no, that's not Nathan. That's Victoria. I'm sorry that you're such a bitch. I mean, I tried to be nice to you. I'm sorry that you got drugged the fuck out. But, you know, that was Rachel's choice, not mine. Also, I'm very sorry, Mrs. Amber. Um, Price, Mrs. Price, not Amber. Amber is, Chloe, is Rachel. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, Price. I keep sw swapping their surnames. Um, yeah, she, she's not here at the moment. Just hug it out. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm sorry that you make bad choices. Well, not really. You make alright choices. You make choices that a normal person would make. I'm sorry that Chloe makes bad choices. Samantha, how are you doing? Are you going to go chill with Nathan for a bit? Yay! She's nice. Where did she go with the second? Oh, well, the first original game. Did he take creepy photos of her as well? Because, you know, that is a thing he kind of does every now and then. Um, but at least he's not a complete psychopath. Well, you know, he has issues, but he's not a complete psychopath. Okay, so that's all the ash raining down with that lady. Okay, so she is then apparently her mother. How does that at all impact him kissing her? Who is this lady now that's in their house which was really nice but had no sense of humor these questions man these questions but i think we're going to end there so thank you lads for joining me for this episode of life is strange hope to catch you guys when the next episode releases probably another two months or something so thank you and ta-ta